friends it's ankit mittal and i'm back with a new video this time i'll tell you how to draw a realistic green snake okay uh, as usual i'm not going to tell you how to draw the outline because you can just see the video and pause it and draw the outline yourself okay? and that that depends on your practice okay so i'll tell you for the details so here is the head uh, i'm going to be drawing the head only and i have done the outline of this After completing all the scaling lines as well, so this is the base outline, okay. And now I will use the Prisma color premium pencils to fill the colors in this snake, and I will be using also the green, yellow shades because I am making a green snake, okay. But before that, we are supposed to fill the outline. So we have to do like that. After that, I'm using the grass green color, which is actually Prisma color 909 number. So I'll use it like this on the one side and give it a shade. Okay. After which, I'm using spring green, which is Prisma color 913 number. Okay, like this. And blend the darker pencil that you used earlier with the, this one. Okay, like this. This is what I've got. After this, I'm taking the canary yellow color, which is actually 916 number of the Prisma color, and make an outer line of this scale. Okay, as you can see, that we have to go scale by scale on the complete drawing together, like this. Okay, I made a yellow outline, and you can just shade inside as well, but actually, it's not going to affect much. And for the nose, I'm using two brown shades of Prisma color, which is peace. 946 and 945 these two okay uh, so like this here it is in arms on your I'll use it like this and then this one okay so this is how I made the nose now it's like this uh, scale you can just complete all the scales in the body of this snake uh, so I have done some of the uh, scales over here and uh, I paused it because uh, I want to show you some of these things that I used a dark brown color the prisma color over here for the outline because I just have to make some depth for the scale that uh, that uh, I mean I want the scales to be look, uh, looking like the 3D one that is they are popping out of the page so that the snake look realistic okay so I have used this dark shade over here for the outline now other sh uh, scales can be done like this so I am done with some more of the scales but uh, I want to tell you that how to blend some of the areas because uh, some uh, sometimes we use some kind of a page where the blending is not so easy so what we do is uh, for like uh, this one that this is a different these are two different colors and I want to blend them then I use the white pencil for that because it blends both the colors like this as you can see that the color got blended much better as it was earlier over here as well and over here so you can use the white pencil to blend the different colors because white is not going to affect your coloring scheme okay so as you can see that i am done with the brown coat as well so i'll tell you some more things that because this snake is made to be 3d 
so this part needs to be a little darker because the snake is 3d too it's gonna come out and this is gonna be the shadow so I'll make the shadow with a dark brown color like this let's make it up to this one only and with this brown I'm using a little dark color that is black as well okay like this so friends I have completed one of the major portion of this sketch show which is the head part and to show the mouth of the snake I'll be using a dark black pencil for this purpose and uh, this line has to be darkened as much as you can with this black pencil to show a depth and to show it or highlight it so that it can be considered as the mouth of the snake so just to make it a little much darker than other ones and a little thicker as well so that it may seem to be a little different like this so a little more so here here we have made a line which is darkest of all so that it may seem to be the mouth of this snake okay so how it's looking now uh, we are supposed to be doing the eye portion first of all make a yellow eyeball like this okay then we will use the light green color and I'll cover this area like this and a little over here like this and after that I'll use the black dark black pencil for the eye and we'll cover this area like this okay I'll, I have to show some depth as well in the scales around this eye like this okay now I'm using olive green to do some of this circle to make this circle a little thicker okay like this and the light green as well like this okay now all the area left in the eye has to be made dark black like this okay central part has to be very dark as much dark as you can you can use other colors like acrylic black color or anything to make it extra dark like this okay now i will use sakura white jelly roll pen over it to highlight some of the areas on it okay It gives a very light highlights, white highlights to our drawing. Okay. Uh, now I am using some soft paste around this snake. Like I use this green one over here to show some more depth and realism in the art. And then spread it like this. Okay. And then I'll use the black paste. Because darker is the surrounding, more real is the snake uh, looks, okay? Do it like this. Do it very properly, you will not spoil your snake, okay? Like this. Okay. Now just spread this black color. Use larger it and spread it. Okay. So here the hyper realistic snake is ready. Thank you. I hope you all guys like the video. Keep sharing my channel. Keep liking my videos. Keep watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thanks a lot. At last. Most important thing again, my sign. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you so much.